I seem to have been surrounded by big pumpkins lately, and even managed to score a few rides on the big orange beasts. One of the things that surprised me was that once the bike is moving, they feel surprisingly light and manoeuvrable, to the point where I was doing some small jumps within minutes of climbing on board. After chatting with the other riders, it seems that this is a very common experience, and the reason why KTM took a big bite of the adventure market away from BMW years ago. Not to bag the big beamers, but they don't inspire the same confidence if you like to get down and dirty with a big lump of metal between your legs. And I'm not talking about a prosthetic stainless steel penis. There are quite a few options now from other manufacturers, but the big Kato would appear to be the main choice for the most dirt capable of the big adventure bikes. To round the point home, one of the guys actually brought his 950 out on this dirt ride. Admittedly, we avoided our difficult technical tracks, but the amazing thing was we were never waiting long for the 950 to catch up at each intersection. Like any bike, the Kados do have their own issues. Here are a few that are common to all year models. Use the link here for more details or to check on problems with specific year models. If your version of adventure riding is mainly highways, easy dirt roads, or visiting your favorite coffee shop, then there's a huge range of big adventure bikes. But if you want something that will eat up those highway miles, then be able to handle some rugged bush bashing, the big pumpkin would have to be the main contender. Fuck his game! I wouldn't want to do this shit on a 950. 